Next, I'd like to demonstrate the application of the magnetic force to a simple motor. Here I have a demonstration motor which is wired up to a battery and a switch in such a way that the current goes through the circuit and passes through each of these coils sequentially and goes back through the switch and back around to the battery. So I have a current in these two coils and we can think of the current in each of these coils as creating a magnetic field in this region of space and then the current in these two coils here in that magnetic field will experience a magnetic force. Again, moving charge in a magnetic field experiences a magnetic force. That force gets translated to a torque, which tends to make these two coils tend to line up in that fashion. But what we do is we play a trick on it. Just before those coils get to that position, there's a split here in this ring, and that causes the current to reverse, so a little bit of inertia carries it past, and then the torque is such as to make it line up this way. And then we reverse it again, so it wants to line up this way, and then this way. And so it just keeps right on going around in that fashion once it gets started. And that's the simple DC motor or direct current motor demonstrating the nature of the magnetic force and uh, the application of the magnetic force to a practical device like the electric motor.